Obviously, uh, it's been rough, you know, um, shooting the ball. Had a pretty bad stretch, so it's good to see some go in. But um, you guys know me. It's one game. Um, felt take it means probably just as much as the last one. And, uh, you know, try to get some consistency here. So take it, bottle it up, and take it on the road. Coach was really stressing before the game how good of a series you had on the defensive end. How much do you sort of have to keep reminding yourself of that? And the importance of yeah. All the shots aren't. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, you know, like, yeah, that's cool, but, like, you see, you, I expect more of myself, and uh, it's, it's tough to not play up to standards and, you know, be caught up in a bunch of different reasons that, you know, nobody really cares about. Um, and that's just the circumstance I'm in. So I just got to keep focused, keep working, and, and try to get better in between these days and take care of your body and all those things and go out there and lace them up again. So just staying right mentally is, is the, the key part of that. And, uh, you know, you have your opportunities, and, and sometimes it comes all at once. And, and that's just kind of how it happens sometimes. The confidence that your coaches and your teammates have shown in, 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 throughout this, whether the shots are going yeah. or not, how much does that matter? That's the biggest part. That's the biggest part. Um, obviously, the minutes have been you know, swayed to the rotations because we're trying to win every game. Every game is so important. So you understand that as a player. But at the same time, the fact that you know I, I don't get benched or, or you know they still throw the ball to me in, in certain spots and guys are staying in your corner, that's what means the most. And, and to have the respect and the, you know have the, the guys who mean the most to you in your corner it allows you to, to keep focusing and keep pushing forward. The ways it was great. It's probably the best we've had in a long time. And um, uh, again, Kawhi is, is you know probably in that discussion for one of the best players in the league. And uh, just the attention that he brings when he when he decides that he's gonna get us involved and, and move that thing around. It's, it's so contagious. And obviously, we have to make shots to help him out and, and uh, reward him for passing the ball sometimes. But at the same time, um, when we move it like that, it's going to be pretty hard to beat. The way Serge played tonight, how much of an impact does that energy have on everyone else? Yeah, it's, it's big, and, and that's who he is if, in a nutshell, is right? Make open shots and be that defensive anchor. And I think having him back there, giving him the freedom to kind of roam around and, and help us at the rim has been big for us. So uh, uh, Serge was, was unbelievable tonight. And like I said, we got to take all the good that we did from tonight and, and try to take it on the road, which is, you know, even harder. No, I mean, that, that's just how it goes. Like, guys know I've been struggling. Um, it's not rocket science. It's not, a, I don't run from it. I don't hide from it. Like, I know I, I have to play better, and um, I'm accountable, and I try to take it on the chest. And, and my teammates are, are there for me, and they want to see me win. They want to see me play well. And, um, you know, that's just that genuine love you saw there was everybody could feel that it was a better game. And, and more so than that, uh, you know, it, uh, I wasn't gonna tell you guys, but uh, just having a, my son yesterday, you know, was was I think that was more of the hugs that I was getting was you know guys were kind of um, showing me some love for that, and obviously the last 24 hours that I've had have been pretty special. Fred, when you see Kawhi kind of hobbling around out there at times and grimacing when he does, do you, do you wonder how banged up he is and how? No, we don't care. We don't care. Uh, he's out there. He's battling. Um, I mean, we we know we need him. And uh, that's, that's for him and the medical staff to worry about. And as teammates, you just appreciate a guy going to war for you. And, and we, we all do the same. You know, when, when guys are hurt, you try to go out there and lay it on the line for your teammates to play off basketball. So obviously seeing him in a different, you know, mode in terms of offensively where you can see he's uh, moving a little bit different and, and, and they're still sending more help. They don't care that he's hurt. They're not, they're not taking the double teams off. So we got to keep stepping up and making shots. Fred, you're not one to lose confidence, but what does it mean? Does, can it help you in game five, game six, going forward in the series to have a game like this? And you and the, the bench collectively. Maybe. Maybe I think the biggest part is for our team to see how much success we can have when we play that way. I don't. It's not about me as an individual. Um, when I get those same shots, I'm going to shoot them. And if they go in, great. If they don't, I'm going to keep taking them. Um, so I think that just trying to build on what we did as a team um, offensively is the biggest part for me. It individually, is, is you know that stuff comes and goes. I mean, the way the, the game started, they were, you know, really playing downhill and, uh, and and getting to the to the basket. And you know, I think we started 12 
I mean, five or twelve. The way we responded to that was pretty good, I think. And uh, we, you know, we start cracking down the paint a little bit more, uh, picking out the ball a little higher, um, being a little more physical, and uh, good things happen when we do that. What do you think was sort of the key to pulling away a little bit there in the second? Moving the ball, always d defensively. I thought that we did a, a good job, but mo moving the ball allowed us to score. Um, and then, you know, once you score, you said that defense is a you know whole different game. So I think that uh, uh, you know ball movement and, and communication and effort, you know, always the same things. Yeah, Fred has been uh, and Norm have been um, really good and Serge. I mean, I mean they all you know I don't see bench and starter. It's, it's, uh, it's all a part of a big unit and and it's everyone's responsibility to to get everybody going. Uh, you know, sometimes those guys have the toughest job because they, you know, their run is a little, a little more limited. Uh, so, you know, to get going in, in those amount of minutes is, is hard. Their leash is a little shorter. So, um, big kudos to them. A bunch of you guys played big minutes in game three. Yeah. Pascal played in Yeah. How big was it tonight for, for everybody else to kind of pick them up a little bit? It's, it's team basketball. And, and it's, you know, we, we all... Uh, ready. Obviously, we, we put a lot of uh, responsibility in those, you know, those two guys, special on Kawhi. Um, but it's everyone's job to, you know, to, to do whatever's necessary to win the games. In the third quarter, that was sort of the most I've seen you operating from the elbow as a playmaker. Yeah. Or at least the most it's worked. What did you see opening up uh, on those passes to Kawhi? I think you had one month other assists. Um, I don't know. I mean, movement. I mean, he, he, he seemed to be open on, on a couple of cuts. So um, he was open. What is, I mean, after game two, we all saw you were very displeased with yeah, the yeah. team and yourself. Yeah. What was at the center of that? Like, obviously, the results weren't great, but what were you most displeased about your game and what is Um I allowed my frustrations offensively on that game impact my defense, and that really, you know, put, yeah. threw me for a spin. Um, you know, whatever happens offensively, you can, um, you know, let it affect your defense. And, and that was, you know, what uh, really got me frustrated. It's, uh, Allowing that uh, that offense to you know mess up my defense and because that's where your team relies on you the most, and uh, and that really you know threw me for a spin and but it's it's live right you get you, know, you get knocked down you get up and uh, and try to do better. It's obviously been a series with the home team winning all four so far. What do you guys need to do on Thursday in Milwaukee to get the first row of victory? In the keep keep that same energy that we can, you know, we've been playing with, um, the same mindset, the same discipline, um, you know, kind of the same. Uh, you know, hopefully the same result. How would you accept Kawhi's name, knowing that he was clearly not uh, 100%? It's about it's, it's team basketball. You know, when a guy ha doesn't have it, uh, you know, we play um, different way. And it, I mean, and, and he's still huge for us. I mean, he's a great trigger anytime. The way they play him, I, th I mean, he, he had a great. I mean, obviously not the you know one of those crazy nights where he goes for 40, but. Uh, he created triggers for somebody else. He moved the ball when he had to. He, you know, defensively, I uh, thought for the most part he did a, you know, a good job communicating and being physical. Um, I'll take it. How, how dangerous they are uh, in transition. It would be easy to sort of give up on offensive rebounds, but I mean, serve was in there all night. Yeah. Now. I mean, how hard is that to sort of manage in your head? And how good was he in that? It was amazing. He was amazing. He he grabbed the ones that he had to grab, and and, and you know you you take a kind of like a calculated risk, uh, you know, and and you have to be smart with it. I think he's really smart with it and has a great instinct. Um, you just cannot send too many bodies because you got to start you know creating and uh, your defense and building your walls. Um, so um, you know one guy uh, you know hopefully get it. Uh, if if he don't, he had a sprint and you know be part of that wall. Sorry. Do you feel like the team is representing just the city, but also the whole country in a way? Obviously, obviously, um, you know, playing at home um, means a lot to us. Uh, you, know, um, you know, they they make the the bad runs shorter. They make the good runs longer. Um, you know, that's kind of playing at home. I mean, I think it was incredible, man. Those those guys, they came in, they they brought energy. They, Rebound the basketball, run, just just the way they play, man. It's just um, definitely inspiring, and and, um, I, and 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 I'm glad, you know, we had those guys, and and just we always knew, you know, we, we have we have a really deep team, and 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 I think 
you know, it showed tonight, and, and I'm just excited for those guys, you know, Norm, Fred, Serge, um, coming off the bench and playing the way they played tonight. When Serge is making plays on the offensive glass like that, what type of effect does that have on everyone else? It's big, it's big, you know. Um, they've, they've been winning the, the, the rebound battle, you know, for, for a while, so I think tonight we did a pretty good job, you know, with Serge, especially just going on the glass and rebounding the basketball. Um, and I think when he's aggressive like that on the glass, you know, definitely uh, his presence is definitely felt. Um, right. Um, I think, yeah, I think we continue to grow, man. I think that's the beauty of, of our team. We continue to grow, we continue to get better. And, and, and I think we, we discover every single game, you know, something about our team and, and our group. And um, I think it's just exciting to be a part of it and, and, and just seeing us. We're not at our best, but we continue to learn and we continue to get better. What did you guys discover tonight? Um, you know, just just guys came in ready to play. Like it was, it was a game. I mean, I played what twenty minutes. Um, you know, guys came off the bench red, ready, and and just the, the, how resilient we are. You know, as a team, and 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 just knowing that you know we have a firepower. You've spoken of the last few years about how much respect you have for Fred and his experiences of missing shots, still taking them, not losing mm. confidence. Of, of Game of Thrones. What have the last few weeks been in terms of your message? Kind of mm -hmm. of yeah, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't even think I have to talk to him. Like most of the time, like I think Fred is the, that type of guy where like he knows, he knows what he has to do, and 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 you kind of always have a sense that he's in control. You know, you never feel like he's down himself or anything like that. And um, and you know, I just I just always feel confident in him when he's out there on the floor. And and no matter if he's scoring or not, you know, just being on the floor with him, you know, I feel comfortable. <laughs> uh, I mean, I feel like my legs are always heavy. You know, you know, it's, it's, it don't really matter. Um, I think you know we, we did a, a tremendous job tonight as a team, and 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 you know, that was a really good team win, and and I'm really excited about that. The first four games of the series, all home victories. What do you guys need to do on Thursday to land the first road punch? Um, I mean, we know they're gonna you know they're gonna be pissed, and, and they're gonna come with energy, you know, trying to protect home court as well. Um, we gotta we gotta take the first punch, and and. Um, you know, just just be ourselves, play our game, um, stay within ourselves, and, and and continue to fight. And and I think all you know, even during this all season, and even during this playoffs, you know, we always had to find ourselves in a situation where we had to fight, we had to you know grind it out. And and, and I think you know that's the character that we have on this team. And, and guys are just ready to, to always fight for each other. Do you buy into like bulletin board material? Like a lot of people have counted you guys out when you were 0-2 and now you've, you've tied the series. Does that motivate you guys at all? No, I didn't, I didn't know people counted us out. I don't know. I, I don't really pay attention. I, I think we, we care about our team and, and, and what we do. And, you know, it doesn't matter, like, what people think about us. We just want to continue to get better. Yeah, 17, 18, and 13. Um, you know, it was, we needed it. Um, we, like I said, we haven't had – I think this may be our – third game of the playoffs where everyone's like, you know, kind of stepped up and played and scored and, and did some things well. But um, this is one of the nights that, you know, we knew Kawhi was a little bit limited and uh, we had to come out and be aggressive for him. And <clears throat> the good thing, the great thing about having him on your team is he still gets all the attention. And uh, we fit, we fed off of that, you know, drive, kick, swing. He gets in the lane, kick out. And, you know, we, that's the benefit of having a superstar like him on the team. Uh, to read who's to your left there. Uh, right here, uh, Reed Forgrave, CBS Sports. Um, Kawhi wasn't his best, like your guy's superstar wasn't at his best, but was this like the best version of Raptors basketball? Um, could have made more threes and played better defense. I mean, they, <clears throat> they shot 46% from the field. Um, I think, uh, you know, they still got some things in transition that we can clean up, but I mean, no game is ever going to be perfect. Uh, I think as a team, we can always be better defensively. I think we can always shoot the ball better and get better shots. Um, we had we, we finally won a rebounding game, which was big for us. That was one of the keys of the game for us and one of the things we wanted to do tonight. Um, and we had 32 assists. And, you know, it just worked out tonight that, you know, we played a good game. Next one. Oh, Ian, to your left, standing up here, Kyle. Kyle, you guys have talked a lot about kind of trying to balance out the emotional highs and lows, but... How much have the events of the past couple of games kind of lifted the mood around around the team? I think we stayed low at it. I think we understood the situations. You know, we they they did what they were supposed to do on their home floor. 
and we did what we were supposed to do on our home floor. Now we have to go out there and continue to do what we've done, you know, and what we've brought to the last two games and um, put it in game five. Uh, we know it's going to be tough, and we know they're going to come out amped and ready to go. But, you know, I think some of the things we could continue to get better at is transition defense and, and you know, catching and shooting and shooting the shots that are there. Uh, it's Michael Grange, who's sitting down to your left. Kyle Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Uh, you know, I mean, Freddie always delivers something, even when he's struggling offensively. But to uh, see him break out a little bit tonight, what does that do for your team? And what it, maybe it does for him? He's had a pretty eventful couple of days. <laughs> I think he needed those get these days. Uh, I think he needed it. Um, you know, welcome, you know, little Freddie Freddie Jr. to the building. So um, I think those type of things kind of. Uh, kind of relax him a little bit. And like I said, he needed one of those games. He, you know what? He needed that bank three to go in, you know, stuff like that. It just meant, you know, just give him some type of rhythm. And um, he played well. He made some great plays tonight, um, three for three from three. Uh, you know, it just takes, you know, sometimes it's just one or two shots or something happens and kind of just it's all mental sometimes. Uh, to Dan, who's in the middle. In the Kyle, uh, Dan Wicky with the LA Times. Nick said that uh, – because Kawhi missed, you know, 20-some-odd games during the regular season, that this team is equipped to kind of go without him. Do you think you guys lean on that um, when you see him hobbling a little bit out there, that it's kind of like we've been in this situation, you know, a quarter of the year? No, I mean, we, we've got a team that, no, you know, we, we stepped up for him, and, you know, he's given us a lot through this playoffs. And, you know, a couple games where we can give him a chance to kind of not have to do as much and, you know, carry the load as much and, you know, he got down to 34 minutes tonight. Um, I wish he would have played less than 30, you know. But, you know, he got 34 minutes. And he still got 19 points and he helped us, you know, he, he gets the attention. But, um, you know, we want him healthy. But when we get a chance to go play and we have to do these type of things, we have to try to be more aggressive and assertive, even to start the games. I think we rely on him a lot. And he definitely does a lot for us. But, you know, we have a game like this where everyone steps up. It's it's a lot of, lot of you know, easy to pressure off of him doing so much offensively for us. Uh, last question, I think, on the left from Eric, please standing up. Eric Corrine, The Athletic. Uh, just in the locker room, Mark was saying how sort of angry he was at himself for letting his defense impact his offense in game two. Uh, what have you seen from him in the last uh, two games, and was there ever any sort of doubt about what he's able to provide? Never any doubt. Never any doubt, that's one thing. Um, two, I think what I've seen is just him being aggressive, being assertive, catching and shooting, shooting the trail threes, um, not worried about, you know, just catching and shooting. He's knowing, like, he watches the film and he sees the shots that he has available and he's been taking them. And um, I think he still can do a little bit more offensively, but he's been unbelievable defensively, helping and getting back out to Brook and not letting Brook get shots off. Um, and we're just trying to, you know, just be, be there to help everybody.